and she's like, oh no. She tells him, she's like, go get my phone. And we're like, are you gonna call, you know, I don't remember who said it, but one of us said like, are you gonna call our parents? And she's like, no, I'm gonna call the police. Hey y'all, it's Courtney and I'm the Southern Aquarius and today I'm going to tell y'all kind of a funny, y'all may think it's funny, story time about the time that I got arrested. So it was when I was in the fifth grade, I was about 10 years old. I had these two friends and I was over their house one time and actually they were twins and um, that, that doesn't matter but anyways <laughs> I was at their house one time and we decided to walk to the park um, which the park was connected to our school that we went to at the time because of course we were in elementary so we ended up walking to the park we got to the park and you know we're chilling at the park and we notice that you know there's a place in the fence like the fence that's around the school where like there's like an opening at the bottom so we're like looking at it and we're like you know we have this great idea to go under the fence and go into the school so we come up with this cool plan to do that and we were all pretty skinny so we all just kind of slided right under the fence and we got into the fence um, where we're kind of like we're into the school we're on school property and so we were just walking through this area where they had like these um, I don't know if y'all have ever heard of um, portable buildings so yeah we were in that area and we come up to where the school is like the main building of the school and some of the first like when you you would walk up these stairs I can't really explain it because I can see it in my head but I can't explain it but you would walk up these stairs and then there was a few there was a few classrooms right there and then there's the library well we basically tried every door until we got to the library and the library was unlocked so we go into the library we're basically like oh my gosh we're so excited we're like we're in the library when school's not going on so yeah so we're in the library and we're basically just like jumping on the tables jumping on the chairs looking at the books looking through stuff going through stuff we didn't take anything because we weren't in there to take anything we were in there to be in the school when school wasn't going on because we were bored I don't know we were 10 so yeah so I don't I can't really explain that as a 27 year old but anyways with that being said like my thing is is like I never for in that mindset I never for a minute remember thinking like this is illegal or we shouldn't be doing this like I never thought that ever like that never crossed my mind ever so Basically, we end up, you know, having a good old heyday in the library and, you know, it's time to go. So we leave and we ended up, you know, deciding to just go ahead and go on home and uh, we ended up walking back to their house and then, of course, their uh, mom ended up taking me home. So, yeah, so cut to a few weeks later, a few months later, I don't know how long later, I go to my friend and I'll just call her Ashley's house. And basically I was over Ashley's house like anytime like we weren't like, anytime we didn't have school the next day, I was at her house. So basically I was at her house all like Fridays, Saturdays. You know, anytime we didn't have to go to school the next day, I was at her house. So her dad was like really cool. He was real laid back. He had dreads, like, you know, that type of dude and he would pretty much take us wherever we wanted and he would let us like do chores and give us money and take us to the mall and stuff like that take us to walmart whatever so so basically i was over there at her house staying the night and i 
told her about me and our two other friends going into the school and you know how much of a success that was and how fun that was and blah 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 and she was like oh my gosh that's so cool you know what we should do and I'm like what she's like we should ask my dad to take us to the school um to the park we'll just say to the park and you know, Miss Stefano, which Miss Stefano was our dance teacher at the time. So we were on this little dance team. It was called the Dance and Divas, and we actually had started the team. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so we were on this dance team, and she's like, yeah. And so our dance teacher, she also was actually a teacher at the school too. So she's like, yeah, Miss Stefano, she she told us, she told me that, you know, any Saturday we want to come up, we can come help her grade papers. So I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, we should totally, you know, ask your dad to take us to uh, the park. So, you know, I go and get ready or whatever, go and like gel my hair, or whatever I did back then. So. Um, she asked her dad and of course her dad's like yeah i'll take y'all to the park no big deal so her dad takes us to the park and you know we get to the park we end up meeting up with some guys that we knew at the time and um these guys i'm not gonna name them they were but they're like a part of the story so i mean i guess i have to give them some kind of name we'll just call one of them Bates. Robert and Paul. Yeah, that's what we'll call them. So yeah, so we see them two, we, um, them three there at the park. So my friend Ashley, she goes over and she's like talking to them or whatever. You know me, all stuck up or whatever. I'm, you know, off by myself talking to some other friends or whatever. And so she's over there talking to them and I'm finally like, Ashley, um it's time to go we have a plan we had a goal coming here to the park so let's go so she's like oh okay 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 and so me and ashley leave and before we left there um the guys they're like hey where y'all going and Ashley's like, oh, we're going to see Miss Stefano at, in her classroom. We're going to help her grade papers. We'll be back. And so, yeah, so she tells them that. And I'm like, Ashley, why did you tell them that? And so, so basically, we go walking towards the school. And so we basically walked to the front of the school and we walked up to the door. There was like stairs to go up to the main two doors. And we basically just walked up the stairs and we walked up to the door and opened it and it was unlocked. Yeah, it was unlocked. So remember earlier when I said we were, me and my other two friends were, when we went into the library, we were checking each door and, you know, the library just happened to be unlocked. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's what's kind of crazy is that the doors were just unlocked. We just walked in. We did not break in. There was no force. We had, we were 10 years old. We had no way to break into a school. Okay. Come on now. So yeah, so we, we just walked into the school. So we basically walked through the school, the main school, and we actually walked out like, cause there was the main school where the cafeteria and stuff was in the, in the main auditorium and all of that and then a few other classrooms and then you would walk out and then you would see like the center of the school or whatever you know, so we were walking down that area and the principal of the school sees us out the window and she yells down at us and she's like hey what are y'all doing in here and we're just like we're here to see miss stefano we basically told her while we were there because we really were there to do that i mean we really had no ill intent but um she was like how did y'all get in and we were we told her we we straight up tell her the truth like we just walked in the door the door was unlocked the main door and she's like well y'all get out of here and we're like okay so we're like okay we got out well instead of leaving we end up running into 
the three guys. Well, actually just two of the guys. No, actually all three of the guys. Yeah, all three of the guys. So we end up running into them. So they're like talking about, they're like joking around like about stealing things. And I'm just like stealing stuff. No, we're not trying to steal anything. And so I tell Ashley, you know, Ashley's over there hee-hawing with them. And I'm like, Ashley, we need to get out of here. The principal just saw us, we need to get out of here. So me and Ashley, we end up heading this way. Well, Bates ends up following us because I guess like Bates at the time was like trying to like, I don't know what he was doing, but he was following, he followed us. So Robert and Paul end up going out the other way, um, the way they came in. So yeah, so we end up walking the other way. Well, as we're walking the other way, because we were actually gonna go ahead and go out of the way that we came in. The principal and her husband, well, at the time I didn't know it was her husband. I ended up figuring out later that it was her husband. But the principal basically and this man is standing there and she's like, oh no. She tells him, she's like, go get my phone. And we're like, are you gonna call, you know, I don't remember who said it, but one of us said like, are you gonna call our parents? And she's like, no, I'm gonna call the police. And so we're just like, oh crap. She's about to call the police. Like, why would she be calling the police? Like, what, what do we do? We're just coming to see Miss Stefano so we can, help her grade papers like what did we do wrong whatever so anyway she calls the police the police get there they put us all in handcuffs handcuffs at that time it was just me Ashley and Bates so they put us in handcuffs the uh, principal tells them what happened that basically she that we broke into the school and she caught us and told us to leave we did not leave she caught us the second time and that's when she called y'all and so, yeah, and so they ended up putting us in the cop cars and somehow, I, I don't even remember, but somehow the police were told like that Paul and Robert, I forgot his fake name, that Paul and Robert were in there with us also. I don't know, yeah, somehow that came out. I don't know if they looked at cameras or whatever but somehow they knew because as soon as they put us in the cop cars they went over to the like okay they put me and Ashley in one cop car and then they put Bates in the other cop car and basically the cop car that Bates was in pulls off and we're following them and they go over to the playground and I can see Robert is on like, you know, those, those like, like the rock wall things that you climb. He was like climbing up one of those and the police just like run over and like grab him and pull him off the rock wall. And like, he like falls to the ground. They put him in handcuffs and I'm like, I just really didn't understand the weight of what we did like I guess like I just didn't understand it. I didn't comprehend it I so I just started crying because I guess when I saw that like I realized like how serious it was and I honestly was kind of like oh my gosh like why are they treating Robert like that because like granted like Robert and Bates they were classmates of us of me and Ashley's so I mean we we went to class together every day. So, I mean, like, we kind of have all bonded. We were all friends in a way. So, basically, I just, I don't know, I got emotional. So, I started crying. Well, I remember they were walking Robert over. Robert was a short little boy. Like, why do you need two police officers to go and get him? You know what I'm saying? And why do you have to use so much force? But anyways, that's besides the point. So, as they're bringing Robert over, I remember he looked right at me and we both just bust out crying as we looked at each other and they basically put Robert in the cop in the cop cart with Bates 
and they take us to the uh, police station. So when we got to the police station, they got us out of the cars, they took us in, they booked us, they fingerprinted, fingerprinted us, uh, they took our mugs, we ended up taking mug shots and everything y'all like everything at 10 years old so yeah so we took the mug shots they sat us down they gave us like this long lecture I don't really remember all Basically, of it like explaining to us why this was bad and like what it is why it's illegal and all that and like if we were you know adults how this would have like how we would be punished and they basically said, you know, we're going to call your parents if they don't answer or they're not able to come get you or we can't find anyone to come get you. You will be staying the night here in the jail with us tonight. And so, yeah, so that's what they told us. So, but, so they called our parents. Thankfully, all of our parents picked up and were able to come and get us. My mom, she actually came and got, came and got me. And let me tell you, like my mom literally is the most laid back chill cool mom you could ever think of she has never went off on me but let me tell you when she got me in the car she went off on me she literally went up and down with words telling me how stupid i was to do that like how dumb it was like how you know bad it was and i'm just like i'm sitting here like i literally didn't even know this was wrong like i had no clue like i was just trying to help miss stefano gray papers like i didn't even know it was bad like and so she was just like telling me all this crazy stuff well long story short like i ended up getting um 75 hours of community service i was on probation for like so many months i don't remember how many months but i was on probation for so many months and that included like with the curfew and all that and all the fees and at that time it was horrible because i was living with my grand well i mean i still kind of live with my grandmother but like i was living with my grandmother at the time and we were like really poor so it was really like a hard time and like playing paying like probation fees like if you've ever been on probation you know like you have to pay the fees or whatever and that was like really horrible at that time but yeah and um so yeah so i ended up doing all my community service and all that and i remember when i went to school because this all happened on a saturday so it happened on a weekend and i remember i went to school on monday and like the following friday was field day which was which i don't like some I'm sure like a lot of you will know what field day is, but in case you don't know what field day is, field day basically is like a day at your school. It's, it's usually on a Friday, um, unless like the weather, like ha where they have to change it or something. But it's like basically like a day where you, they like cut classes and like everybody goes outside and like they play like all kinds of like outside games like water games and stuff and like they do like a cool lunch or whatever and you have cool snacks and all that stuff so yeah so that's what field day is and so a kid in elementary field day is everything so basically i remember my teacher she called me outside i remember and she was like basically she told me that i would not be participating in field day which i thought was really so dumb because i'm like okay number one like even now i still think like this that it was like overkill and dumb because like first of all like i literally had no clue what i was doing second of all i was already on probation already had 75 hours of community service like if i didn't get all those things done i could possibly go to um juvie and if i got in if i was a bad kid and i happened to get in trouble again you know i could possibly like have more things added to my record like there was just all these things and on top of that my teacher tells me i can't participate in field day so yeah so that sucked and then to top it all off guys the ultimate punishment of all was 
me and Ashley both, which also Ashley didn't get to participate in field day also, and she got all the same like punishments as me, basically. But yeah, so, but to top it all off, me and Ashley both were kicked off the dance team. Yes, we were kicked off the Dancing Divas, never to ever be on the team again. Um, we were completely like shunned from the team. Um, so yeah, so basically, yeah, that was, yeah, it was horrible. So I ended up got, getting all my stuff done, probation was over, paid all my fees, all that, and basically my case was closed because I was a minor. So basically, it will never be reopened again unless I do something else really pertaining to the case. Like if I do something else, like if I just happen at 27 to do another break and entering, like if I want to like break into the school or something again by chance if I get bored one day, um, they can use that case against me actually even though I was a minor at the time. And also, um, Paul actually was picked up at school on Monday by the police. And he was taken to jail. And him and the other two boys, they, I heard, I don't know exactly what they got. I heard that the boys only got 25 hours of community service along with Bates. I don't know if that's true. But yeah, besides that, um, that's pretty much the story. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, if y'all do, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate everyone who subscribes to this channel. Um, this channel is completely random. It's just basically an outlet. Like my bio says, it's an outlet for me to express my cre creativity, my artisanal self and my lack of speech coordination, of course. But anyways, um, I hope you guys have a blessed day and I'll see you on the next video.